I'm not even going to tell you how long I just went not streaming. Just did it again. I don't know. That's crazy. Why am I, why am I like this? Um, I have a hard time focusing lately. Honest. Honest. Truth. Hi. Hello there. Um, okay, I just want to double check something. Just give me a moment. One moment, please. Hi, my name is Scott. Yeah, anyway, I did the thing again, right? I just like started talking and didn't actually start streaming, which is cool. It's cool. Very cool of me. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to talk about that. So uh, here's the thing. What I did start talking about, what I started looking at is uh, this project, Mission Control, years and years and years ago. Let's just look at it. Let's go over here. And it's a, like one of my first three JS projects. I did it with a guy named Lauren Judah. That's just a traffic visualizer. And I like it. I like to keep it working. A few year or two ago, we moved it over to Netlify. It's working fine. The issue now is that the Google Analytics API it uses, used, um, uses, is being deprecated. And so I tried, to, I think I have moved the site over to use the new analytics. I think the new site, the Astro site, I finally pushed a bit ago, last week or whenever it was. Um, anyway, so what I was just starting to get in the weeds on is the annoyingness of getting this to work. And it, well, the crazy part is, I guess I shouldn't be surprised at all. 10 years ago, it was not that hard to just like use the Google API and get the data. It wasn't that hard. It was just a thing and it was like, let's pull it. And I feel like even when we updated this, it wasn't all that hard. And now it is so, it's like entangled in Google Cloud in a way that is um, bumming me out. So Google Analytics API. So what do we need? What data will we be accessing? So we use the Google Analytics Data API. No. The service account name. and stuff in here, but I just want to, I want to be able to clearly see what is for the new system and what's for the old system. <clears throat> Select a role. I don't know. I hate stuff like this. Like this stuff, like the permissions stuff is the, it's definitely the worst part of AWS and it looks like it's now the worst part of Jiraj, how's it going, man? Happy New Year. I'm getting a twitch in my eye because I'm already frustrated with how annoying this is. And I'll let it fix. What, do you, what even, what is any of this? What does any of this mean? It was so easy once upon a time to just say like, hey, I just need. Viewer? Can I view it? 
Oh well, yeah, I don't even want to be. It's I, using Google Cloud. So I had this old project that use that visualizes Google Analytics data, and it used to be really easy to get that. And then now it just seems to be not cool. Not cool. Grant. I don't know what any of this even means. All I I just want to like. View the data. Is that is that a crime? Grant users access to the storage form. No thanks. Create credentials. Didn't I just do that? This is a service account, presumably. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now that I have this fun email address? So now I have to go add this service account to the Google Analytics Core property. So I have to go here. Why do I have to do this? React? I don't like React. Use, uh, uh, I don't like Facebook. When I when I have to do stuff like that, I use Vue. Vue.js. Although maybe I'll start using Alpine.js. Seems neat. Seems lightweight. Why don't I like React? Because I hate Facebook and everything they do. Everything, everything they've ever done or ever will do. <clears throat> Makes life easy. Um, Alpine seems cool. Seems very lightweight. I haven't tried it though. But Vue is fine. Vue is been adequate for my needs. I also hate web development, broadly speaking. So, okay, I want to view. I want to view stuff. Is that okay with everybody? We just add this. This looks super stupid. This looks so dumb. Whatever. Okay, I've done this. <clears throat> so this application demonstrates the usage of the Google Analytics blah, 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 using service account credentials. I don't want service account credentials. Maybe I do. An easy way to provide the credentials by setting Google application credentials in the environmental variable. This sucks though, because then you have to pull it from the JSON file. I don't want to do that. Like how, how, how do you do that? It's true. I don't like any of this. Computers are bad. I'm gonna go get back to making things, but that also sucks. So how do you do this? Like, how do I, how, what's the right way to do this? want it to sit why do I need this stupid functions file instead of just a key you can guide me well this is all that this is the Google Analytics whatever GA4 so this is all brand new or, or relatively new I just have to do this stupid can I really do this? Can I really do this? The thing is, I don't really want to do this. 
I don't want this in the repository. Right? Like... That's the whole... Why would they... Why would they do this? And make it a file? Where it's even... I don't want to do this. Like, why not just have some E? So you're telling me I have to have a stupid JSON file. This used to be easy. It was fine. You just had an API key. You just used an environmental variable. It was no problem. Like some kind of token or some kind of key. And now... Can I do this without having to use this? I really don't want to use the... Well, I have, there's this client library and that's fine. Like I can use the Node.js client library, but that's, that's not the issue. The issue is authentication. And so, Previously, let's see, how did we do it before? I think it was pretty easy. Um, how did we, I don't know actually, how did we do this? Oh, well I cheated. I just like gave it a token. Right, so we pulled all this stuff from the environment. But, well that's, and which is how I wanna do this. Like, I, I don't want to use... Use a service account key. Service account keys create unnecessary risk and should be avoided whenever possible. Seems less risky to me than just having a file that has that describes the credentials in, in the repository. So what's the right way to do this? Like if I don't want... Like... Adding the credentials to Netlify. Store this as environmental variables in Netlify. You can later read the information. So client email and private key, is that true? Is that all you really need? Okay, if I can do that, then it's fine. So, GCP private client email and GCP private key. Problem is, I don't really remember. How do we do any of this? Wait, where are the... Like the env? I just don't actually remember. Because we didn't... I've, haven't done very much with, uh, gosh, does he still use jQuery on this project? I'm tempted to just fully rewrite that project, but not, not today. Today's not the day. Well, okay, so there's, how do we do this again? <laughs> um, because there seems to be no local in. Is it only through Netlify? So you're telling me I just need to go to... Okay, I think I understand. Maybe. So 
So we gotta go back to, um, what's its face? So in Netlify, for mission control, we should have environmental variables. Let me switch here for a second, see if that's true. So if I want to add, I oh, know I'm on the wrong screen. Just I'm trying not to paste some secrets. Client email and private key. Um, client email and private key. Is that what they were called? Client email private key. Okay. So we will have those. So then I need to find. What are you What are you up to lately, Daraj? Are you working on any cool projects? Where do I find? Um... Like how do I get the how do I get the credentials? Download the credentials. Where do you, where do you, where do you, where do you, where do Get him. Where do we get these? Where do I get this stupid JSON? That's keys, though. I see the service account. I see it right here. It's here. That's my service account. How do I get... That's the client ID. How do I get... I don't want keys. Why is this just such a mess? Where do I get this stupid JSON file? to create a service account.
Oh, is it still a key? A little weird, because it specifically says... Store it securely. Should I make a game? What kind of game should I make? I have so many projects I need to finish. It is ludicrous. So what do we need? We need client email and private key. Is that really all I need? I'm lost again. Okay, uh, client email. value for all contexts. Save variable. And according to this stranger on the internet, I just need private key. And I always trust strangers on the internet. Every time. Um, private key. Sorry, I got cranky. Am I working like a like job job work? I wrapped up all my jobs at the end of the year and I haven't really started on anything new for this year. So I just have a million of my own projects. Um, begin private key, end private key, save variable. I don't know if that worked, but maybe it did. Okay. Um, I have my own freelance company, but I'm not booked on anything right now. Should probably get some work for the year, right? Probably, probably. Okay, we have client email and we have private key. Now what? And how do we... Who knows? Um, this just all feels too convoluted. Like, why is it all so convoluted? Um, we want... We did all this. Where, where were we looking? What's the, um... Okay, we do want this, that's important. But where do we, um... Okay, so we did. The beta analytics client. Is this really in beta only? Should I not be doing this? What's annoying though is like, in a few months they're gonna shut down the original one. So you're telling me that I have to switch to a beta client? I think this is gonna suck. It's my my prediction. I can just feel it. I can feel it happening. Can we do this. Do we not have... 
Surely we had this at some point, right? Oh, do we have it in here? No. How do we how do we test this? It's been too long since I've looked at it. No. Surely we have that on this computer. Maybe not. I mean, I must have had a way to test this, right? The issue here is I don't know that we're going to have environmental variables. Oh, it does grab them. Okay, so that is useful. Actually serve the whole oops. Who's talking to me? serve the site? I guess not. Which is annoying. all this can be. Play function serve. It's really weird if it doesn't just serve the site. Okay, that looks great. But what it should look like is Okay, so what are we doing now? We gotta populate this data. So we have a couple issues. I mean, one being this doesn't work for some reason, so why? Why would that be true? Why wouldn't this work locally? I just don't know if this is gonna. Ugh, I feel like this might be a dramatic change, like a really substantial change.
it's not an enormously complicated data structure, but seemingly right now I can't even query anything. Seems like it's not actually getting the uh, environmental variables, even though it said that it would. like it's not uh, not actually is this what I actually want it's weird that I just have had the Netlify client installed. I couldn't understand. Okay. I may have logged something that was a secret. No, it doesn't seem like it's getting the environmental variables. environmental variable, copy the value for site ID, send the idea to a no. site ID number, terminal settings, what? Set, etc. You can also import an end file. I'm definitely going to show something that I shouldn't. It's inevitable. Notify in the list. I'm not authenticated or something. No site ID found. I see. Notify link. Like there's just some authentication stuff I'm missing. Why is one password not working? Cool. Awesome. Why does nothing work? Just like <clears throat> I 
yes I think I'm about to show something I shouldn't. This always happens. The API keys. Okay. Things kind of, sort of seem to work. So that's good. So. Think about this logging. So here's the the big concern is like making this query Try to do this. Kind of independently here. Data analytics data client. That just does not come with a great deal of confidence, you know? Why are you called beta? Weird. Why would you put that in the name? It's just not like an analytics data client. Make me feel a little bit better, but that's fine. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna do this, and then what? There's a run report. Let's see. 
Like I want this to break. On purpose. Right? Okay, module not found. Right, so we need to stop. So, we're still expecting brokenness. That's fine. Turn nothing. That's pretty weird, huh? So, property ID is not set. Throw an order. Throw an order. Throw an error. Um, but I guess that's run off in the world. So we should expect this a five hundred. I see. Um, okay. So property ID is what. measurement ID. difficult to do without logging. though. Also, can I do this? Can I do credentials in here? Like, so what are we doing? We're not like initializing at all. We're really just doing this run report. this 
fancy object. We call back. So there's a run report request. Well, that doesn't seem good. There's no way to specify credentials in here. Create a new one. Okay, so there are there arguments to the creation of the client. Does that have args? Oh, I seem like it did it. Options, credentials. Okay, cool. So we can do this. Here. It's going to be pretty hard to debug with no... Uh... Maybe it's better if I crash it? Yeah, great. Okay. the old data so maybe our query worked i don't know um i don't really know what we get back yes. let's just try returning like that maybe we're not getting data yet oh look I can put a cute star next to it that means it's a good boy 
Not data received yet. Make sure it's tagged with Q to Q. It is tagged with Q to Q. Um, I don't wait 48 hours. Kid me? How? Why would it take that long? Especially weirdly, because there's like real time data. Or there's supposed to be. That's such fun all exploration. I thought it said funeral exploration. Is this the. How do you view the real time? Can you? Real time. Nothing. So, like, how do I. How do I know anything? Also, it's really weird that it didn't import the old data. Like, you would have thought that in the process of... Well, okay, I guess the good news is it seems like we're kind of sort of started. I also don't like this because it's harder to yeah, like debug in isolation. Like maybe there's a way. Hmm. Okay, ditch that for a minute. So the dimensions we previously asked for were these. We asked for metrics. We had a start date and end date. So dimensions and metrics. What did we ask for here? There we asked for active users. <clears throat> so we just need to figure out like somewhere was that documentation for um, uh the old versus new, this kind of thing. So I think what we have to do is, for example, metrics, we want to go the equivalent of visits. Distinct users Oh that's how do I know? So we had active users. Let's go with active users. And then those other dimensions seem a little worried about some of these things, like subcontinent and that would suck if that wasn't in the really? Do 
that's like the whole point of how this application works. Can't have the continent? That would be sad. here. Continent, subcontinent, country. It seems to be all here. Either. What do I have after? I have city, region, country, subcontinent, continent. Continent, subcontinent, country, region, city. Continent, subcontinent, country. It seems to all be there, so I don't, I don't know. Is that, and this is GA4, right? And metrics? It's weird that continent is not listed here. Country is. Pretty confused though, like how, like how do I specify this? It's really hard without being able to see the data. What's the data, everybody? I just don't know. It's not there. What's the real deal? from other rows headers. I mean, without any rows, I don't know what to do. You know? So I may just have to wait a couple days to actually try to wrap this up. My instinct is to do this. 
But I don't know. I don't know. Um, where is the right one, though? I want to be sure to not. So if we go here, here we go. Where is the full client? Right here. Were there other examples? I just want to know. The start date and end date. Maybe it's much nicer to just be able to say today. Um, How do I specify more than one dimension? This multiple dimensions. Okay. That sucks. Why would they do that? Why would they remove? We just have city country regions, so have to like cut features from this 10 year old. This is the reporting API. This is different than the data API, I guess. Dimension is populated automatically. Does that mean I don't have to ask for it? Or like, today because without the um, without live data I don't really know how to test this definitely having a couple weeks months years one of those stretches where just nothing works you know so well that's quite annoying gotta say. I mean, maybe there's another way to get it, or maybe I get it. Maybe it is automatically populated. Don't know. Oh. Shucks. 
I did start getting some of the parts for that thing for the if I can find the right one. Is it this one? Parts are on the way. 